I'm now joined by Moda Chata, Global Head of Infrastructure Technology Partnerships at AWS, along with Peter McDonald, the VP of Cloud Partnerships and Business Development at Snowflake. Such a pleasure to be back with AWS and Snowflake. 2024 has been the year of enterprise generative AI. From your collective seats, what trends are you noticing? And is there any advice you'd like to share with the audience on best practices with regards to AI organizational implementation? Mona, let's start with you. Yeah, generative AI is really rapidly evolving and it's really been powering our everyday experiences for longer than we realize. And you know, when we're working with customers, we always place an emphasis on using AI at scale to find practical solutions to real world business problems. Well, that being said, we also understand that our customers are using AI to solve a variety of different challenges. And really at this time last year, we announced Amazon Bedrock. And since then, we've seen a proliferation of large and small language models. Also open source models such as Meta Llama 3 on Bedrock, which really helped to enable our customers to access a complete suite of LLMs depending on you know, their business needs. So as we're sort of taking a step back, AWS helps our customers in achieving their Gen AI goals in really three ways. One, AWS provides the most performant, low-cost infrastructure for generative AI, including AWS Trainium and Inferentia chips to really help drive low-cost training and inference. Second, AWS is making it easier for customers to build and scale generative AI applications with security and privacy built in using Amazon Bedrock and Amazon SageMaker. And finally, uh, AWS is providing customers generative AI powered applications to transform user experiences with applications like Amazon Q for developer, business, Amazon QuickSight, and also AWS HealthScribe. Um, and I would say last and most importantly, AWS is really helping our customers achieve their generative AI goals in collaboration with our technology partners like Snowflake and consulting partners. And we've done that also by leveraging AWS Marketplace. So Snowflake has been uh, offering their solutions on AWS Marketplace. So that's kind of what we've been seeing as some of our large trends. Boda, thank you for those insights. Peter, would love your perspective as well. Great. We've been seeing the ways that generative AI is unlocking new ways to drive innovation, improve productivity, and derive more value from data. For enterprises to fully capitalize on this potential, it's critical that everyone in the organization, not just those with AI expertise, are able to access and use generative AI. At Snowflake, we are customer obsessed, like AWS, and know the importance of not only making sure that everyone can access generative AI tools, but that the data training generative AI models is strong. Through our continued collaboration and joint focus on putting our customers first, we plan to bring the latest generative AI solutions to the forefront. Whether a customer wants to use Amazon Bedrock, Amazon SageMaker, Snowflake Cortex, or any of our AI partners, we want our joint customers to understand that Snowflake is the best cloud data platform to use with these AI services. An exciting next chapter. Thank you so much, Peter. How has the Snowflake and AWS relationship evolved over the years, and what cites you most about this next chapter and the long-term partnership? Peter, let's start with you. You know, we've seen our partnership grow stronger as each year passes, and this year is no different. Snowflake as a company is customer obsessed, and we share that value with our partner AWS. I'm most excited about our joint collaboration around all things generative AI, and also Apache Iceberg. Earlier this morning, we announced that Polaris Catalog, Snowflake's newest fully open catalog implementation for Apache Iceberg, will be open source soon with AWS and others. Ultimately, this provides enterprises in the entire Iceberg community with new levels of choice, flexibility, and control over their data. Beyond just Polaris, we've been working closely with the AWS team to train our open source model, Arctic, which will be available on Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart. Thank you, Peter. Mona, from your perspective as well. Yeah, you know, as Peter mentioned, we're doing a bunch of work together to bring the latest and greatest generative AI solutions to our customers. But, you know, beyond all of the, our SageMaker and Bedrock and Arctic integrations, AWS and Snowflake are partnering closely to bring streaming data to our customers to help them gain better data insights at a much faster speed. And in addition, any organizations around the world use AWS S3 for their data lake. And now through the Apache Iceberg standard, Snowflake can use that S3 data lake as its storage layer for data analytics and AI. 
And just, you know, across industries, we're seeing our customers leverage our joint solutions to achieve their business objectives, including Siemens, DTCC, JP Morgan Chase, just to name a few. And we'll continue to focus on building industry-focused solutions for our customers, with of course generative AI and native applications at the forefront of these integrations. And so we look forward to carrying this momentum into the second half and focus on building more industry solutions together. Thank you, Mona. Core to both Snowflake and AWS are the importance of the collective ecosystems and always putting the customer first. At a macro level, how are you working together to give your clients the edge? Mona, let's go back to you. Yeah, you know, when I think about how our customers are turning to us to help them build solutions that really help them gain that edge over their competitors. You know, the partnership between Snowflake and AWS offers seemingly endless possibilities to meet really any business objective. For example, we worked with DXC to create connected mobility analytics to streamline product quality and data monetization for automotive companies. And so together with AWS on, a, uh, together with Snowflake on AWS, we're always like partnering together. <laughs> it's, it's a like, true oh, partnership, okay, Mona. It truly is. Along with multiple complementary AWS services like Amazon Kinesis, Amazon SageMaker, DXC provides a holistic data and AI solution integrated with connecting uh, data with all required data sets to enable internal and external sharing. And really by removing data silos and uniting them all in the cloud, organizations are enabled to work more seamlessly across teams. Access data-driven and AI use cases, you know, leveraging their fleet, their customer internal and third-party data, while also delivering improvements in pr product quality, predictive maintenance, and data quality, which is super critical. And you know, when we're working with our customers, we always ask, how can we leverage our solutions to help organizations meet their goals? And that's what it's all about, putting the customer first. And Peter, from your lens. You know, as Mona mentioned, our customer first approach really is the key to working together with our customers and help them get the edge. Beyond just our DXC solution, we partner closely to build an intelligent data foundation with AWS. At the core of any successful generative AI strategy or business strategy, you could argue overall, is having a strong data platform, which is key. With the IDF solution, customers are able to access a platform that provides analytical capabilities to capture the business so they can quickly take action on important decisions. We're looking forward to further collaboration for AI and machine learning workloads for our customers who are looking for ways to securely bring generative AI to the proprietary data in Snowflake. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mona. Such a pleasure having you both back on Data Cloud Now. What's next for Snowflake and AWS? Peter. You know, we've touched on this a bit so far, but over the last year, we've collaborated closely to bring joint solutions to customers across industries such as financial services, media entertainment, and manufacturing. Looking ahead, we're deeply committed to roll out solutions to other industries, such as public sector, as well as healthcare and life sciences. And really to continue on Peter's point, we're also looking to collaborate with more organizations around the world, including startups, and expanding our focus on the developer community, especially in geos like India and LATAM. And really our goal is to have developers building Snowflake native apps across industries and organizations around the world and deploy them on Snowflake running on AWS and making those solutions available through AWS Marketplace. And we're very much looking forward to seeing how customers will leverage Arctic on, uh, on Jumpstart, uh, SageMaker Jumpstart, to tackle their toughest challenges. So we're doing a lot and we're going to be doing even more. I'm excited <laughs> to see what's next. Thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green, and this is Data Cloud Now.